Welcome back to the channel Coach ADS and today we are going to resume with a very interesting topic an important topic related to verbal reasoning which is an important part of the entire reasoning set which will be asked in SNAP as well as NMAT. So let's get going friends and let us start with the topic analogies. I hope all of you can uh, look at the PDF notes which I am sharing with you. We start with the introduction part. Now when we talk about analogy let us understand the English meaning of the word analogy. Analogy means comparison. A comparison between two different or distinct things. Now, when we talk about a type of the question of analogy, basically it comprises of four words. Now, whichever words which are part of that particular analogy, whichever given part are there, suppose there are four words and three are given, we have to find out the fourth one as an answer. Here, there is a direct relationship between all of them. Either there is a direct relationship between the first two words as a set and then the same relationship we have to replicate in the second set okay as you could see at the top under the introduction part there are four parts uh, four things given in the format word one word two then double ratio word three and then the author is asking what will be the fourth word now the logic over here is we have to understand what is the interrelationship or analogy between the first two words and the same analogy we have to replicate in the second set now, if I ask you what exactly or what type of skills you need to have to solve this variety, the skills which you need to have is to understand what is the interrelationship with the in the left hand side or the relationship between the left hand side two words and the same relationship you have to replicate. It means you need to understand the logic and you need to understand the, the two words or the information which is given in the two words. That is you need to have a requisite knowledge and you need to have a logic to apply the same logic in the question part and then to replicate in the right hand side in the answer part. Example given over is cat is to kitten. So cat is the elder one and kitten is the younger one of cat. Similarly, we have to find out for the dog. Obviously, everybody knows there's no uh, guesses for that. It is puppy, pup or puppy, right? So for cat, is related to kitten in the same way on the other side on the right hand side dog is related to puppy so we have understood that we need to understand uh, the relationship between the two on the basis of our knowledge and we have to apply the logic to find out the second set now when you if you ask me how many types of questions are there in analogy broadly there are around 10 to 15 types of questions asked in analogy yes 15 different types of questions are asked in analogy. So we will be touching upon at least 14 to 15 variety. I start with the first one. Different varieties first gender based. Now in the gender based it is clearly written male is to female. It means left hand side is for male and right hand side is for female. So let us go for two sets of questions which are given over here. Stallion is to mare. Stallion is a male horse basically usually used for black horse and mare is a female horse. Gander is to goose is the same relationship. Gander and goose are light gray color birds which are commonly found in Europe. Okay, so that is the relationship which is mentioned over here. The same male is to female and male is to female. Whether it is a mammal or it is a bird, it doesn't matter. Second is lad is to less. Now when we talk about lad is to less, we are talking about a boy and a girl. Lead is used for boy and less is used for girl. Although these are informal words, it is not a formal word. Uh, they are little lighter in uh, references. They are not up to the mark. But then obviously it is used for boy and girl. The same thing is for Mesua and Mesuase. Mesua means the male massager and Mesuase is the female massager. Let us go for the second variety. Age based which is young is to old. Now, if you look at it, earlier we did old is to young. Now we are doing young is to old. And let us look at the options. Now in the options, what the author has smartly done is he has altered the logic. Here, one very important point you need to understand. In the examiner, the author will play a trick with you. As in the question, you could look at my cursor. It is written young is to old. That is young is to the left and old is to the right side. The author sometimes in one of the option gives one option which is absolutely right in logic but wrong in direction. That is, elephant is to calf. Elephant is old and calf is young. Swan is old and signet is the younger one of swan. And Hans Jotas ko swan bolte. Younger one of swan is signet. Pig is the old one and piglet is the young one. So the direction is old is to young. Okay, not young is to old as mentioned in the BIPA. 
tiger is to come so you have to not only understand <coughs> the answer you have to understand the direction of the logic whether it is left to right or it is right to left or whether it is old to young or young to old be wary about it be careful about it it is one of the way through which students score wrong answer in spite of knowing the logic they become slightly careless and in the hurry of the moment in the heat of the moment they pick the other direction that is if the question is asking old is to young one of the option might be young is to old and they pick up that which is wrong direction it is not left to right it becomes right to left the third variety is worker is to workplace now painter works in studio or painter works at studio teacher works at school now there is another technique which i would like to share with all of you is whenever you are coming across analogy question simply convert it into a simple phrase or a simple sentence in your mind painter works at studio ya painter works in studio teacher works in school nurse works in sanatorium and artist works in atelier sanatorium is a place where the uh disease uh, where the uh, people with disease are cured people who are not having any support people who are homeless people who are parentless they are always kept in sanatorium similarly atelier is a french word for a place where an artist works let us go for the fourth variety that is d variety worker is to tool or worker and the tool with which it works tailor works with scissors surgeon works with scalpel scalpel ek wo chimti hoti hai aapne dekhi hogi jisse skin ko hataya jata hai because skin has several layers so the surgeons use scalpel very delicately to remove the skin or to remove very finer part of the body so scalpel so surgeon works with scalpel tailor works with scissors cobbler works on shoes sculptor works on sculpture to aur bhi ho sakta hai vidh bhi ho sakta hai to hame ek sentence banana hai we have to make the sentence as per the question okay there is no fixed rule as per the question we have to make the sentence let us go for the fifth variety object is to action the object and the action which it does a uh, string is used to tie cork is used to plug cork plugs the bottle string ties the knot or ties anything glue fastens jo gond hota hai wo fasten karta hai yani chipka deta hai hold kar leta hai shears is used to cut the glass shears wo ek ek blade type hoti hai jo ki basically ek end which is an end of a raw diamond which is used to cut the glass it is only used for glass cutting it is a glass cutter shears the fifth variety so i hope you have understood the fifth variety object is to action now let us go for sixth variety significance object is to significance or object is to association now there are two varieties it could be an object and its significance and the object and the association which it takes with something so we go for the questions water is to quench thirst food is to quench hunger your food is to satisfy hunger medicine is to cure alcohol is to intoxicate so that is the relationship next variety many or class one or many or class or member or unit or collective so there are three parts one or many singular and plural class or member a class and a part of that particular class that is member unit and collective noun of that singular and plural fish is to shoal fish is singular whereas shoal is plural a large number of fish fish or fish swimming together so fish is to shoal shoal is a german used word uh, used for group of fish wolf is to pack a large number of wolves together is called pack of wolves pride of lion if you look at it what is happening is in the upper questions singular and plural were given wolf is singular and pack plural was given where is the second set pride is group of lion whereas singular lion is given at second place so it is altered so you have to be very very careful ki yahan singular pehle aa raha hai plural pehle aa raha hai the same thing parliament is to owl a group of owl is also called parliament it's very laughable but yes a group of owl is called parliament i am not joking it is genuinely the word so we can say a large number of owls are sitting in the parliament on a lighter side <laughs> so next variety synonyms and antonyms now you all know what are synonyms and what are antonyms synonyms are words with similar meanings and antonyms are words with opposite meanings so when we talk about uh, uh, the first set of question truth is to falsehood so when we talk about truth is to falsehood you need to understand that truth is to falsehood is antonym of each other truth sachai or burai ya jhoot sach or jhoot virtue is to vice virtue is gun or vice is abgun so what is happening in the first two uh, first set 
इट इज एंटोनिटी सेटिस्फाइड इज टू कॉन्टेंटेड नाउ सेटिस्फाइड यानी संतुष्ट और कॉन्टेंटेड यानी उससे ज्यादा हायर डिग्री सो द वर्ड है If you want to really know what is the word in the degree, you need to uh, check out the rest of the videos of this particular channel. And I have made a very simple, easy to understand six golden rules to develop vocabulary and to improve vocabulary. So go through that particular lecture. I am very, very confident you'll enjoy that particular lecture, in, and you may not have seen something better than that ever in your life. Yes, it's a profound statement I have made, but that is the beauty of that particular uh, video. You have to see to it. to agree with me or if you disagree you can even write in the uh, comment section also and uh, share what were your expectation which were not fulfilled and what whichever parts you enjoyed in that particular thing that also you need to share both the two sides satisfied is to contented satisfied and contented is lower is to high degree despondent is somebody is despondent is someone is unhappy and dejected is a high degree yani usse thoda high degree so it is low to high degree but if you ask me what is the variety it is synonyms variety both the two words are synonyms but one is low degree and one is high degree left hand side is low degree and the right hand side is high degree so the same is followed in the answer part also i hope it clarifies now let's move into the other variety other analogies where grammar is used whether it is noun is to adjective or it is noun is to verb it could be anything noun is to adverb also koi bhi form ho sakta hai usually noun verb adjective zyada puchi jati hai adverb bhi ho sakte hain but avoid karte hain cat is a noun and feline is an adjective so noun and adjective is used so obviously the answer should also be the same cat dog is a noun and canine is a adjective canine teeth aap jante honge aage ke jo daant hote hain so cat feline dog canine it is noun is to adjective variety right? second variety symbol is to quality what a particular thing symbolizes dove safed jo kabutar hota hai it symbolizes peace dove is a insignia or sign of peace dove signifies peace fox signifies cunningness so what i did is i converted into a simple phrase part and whole relationship the third type petal is part of flower so petal ek single patti hoti hai phool ki petal is part of flower barrel is part of gun yes definitely barrel is part of the gun next variety action and its significance frowning frowning means to show annoyance to show disagreement to show uh, uh, uncomfort with some situation so frown is to annoyance cringe is to pain cringe means to to be to to show that there is a pain it may be through sound or through facial expression next variety e uh, different degrees i was talking about degrees here comes the topic related to it dislike is to abhor dislike yani na pasand karna and abhor yani highly dislike yani it is lower is to high degree trot is to gallop again it is my favorite topic because i am a trained horse rider so i can tell you more about it trot means walking of a horse at a slower pace whereas gallop is walking relatively faster there is another third degree which is called canter where the horse really runs so trot is a slow walk whereas gallop is a moderate walk so it's a lower to high degree f cause is to effect na kuch ghatna hai uska effect drill leads to hole burn leads to ashes kuch bhi jalaoge to raakh to banegi so cause and effect relationship the next variety is family and relationship uncle is to aunt again gender and uh, something which is reciprocatory or something which is complementary rather ek dusre ke opposite na purak nephew is to niece we move ahead classification whale belongs to cetaceans and earthworm belongs to annelida cetaceans kaun si machliyan hoti hain wo machliyan jinki skin jo hoti hai us pe calcium hoti calcareous skin hoti hai isi tarah annelida jo hoti hai wo is tarah ki kechue aur ye sare jo hote hain earthworm wale annelida classification tha so here it is clear gk now the next variety is raw material variety i variety or is to metal or is made out uh, uh, or creates metal ya yeah, metal is made up of of ore hum left to right bhi bol sakte hain sentence or right to left is the metal is created out of ore yarn is created out of cotton so left is the raw material and right is the finished product next variety habit lion is carnivorous human are omnivorous next location giza is in egypt taj mahal is in india just for your knowledge and general knowledge giza is one of the larger part of largest places of uh, egypt which is famous for वर्ल्ड फेमस फॉर वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कॉटन प्रोड्यूसिंग पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दुनिया की बेस्ट कॉटन जो है वो गीजा कॉटन कहलाती है नेक्स्ट वेराइटी न्यूमेरिकल टाइप ऑफ एनालॉजी 
4 is to 16. So you, you must have understood very simple. It is very simple. 4 is to 16 is 4 square. 5 square is 25. So first and the second is the square. Next variety is quantity based. So meter is to kilometer. Single and there thousand times. Microliter, milliliter. Specialist. Specialist means someone who is expert. Virtuoso means someone who is expert in music. Chef is someone who is expert in food making. The next is study and the field related to it. Graphology is the study of handwriting. Numismatics is the study of coin collection. You all know that numismatics is of coin collection. Okay. The next is time sequence. Midday comes after midnight or midnight uh, comes after midday bhi bol sakte and spring is followed ya midday is followed by midnight aise bhi bol sakte and spring comes after uh, i mean spring is followed by autumn that could be another way some more examples if you want let us pick one more example one or two uh, solved examples mason is to query who is mason mason hota raj mistri jo kehte na someone who is who is a bricklayer or someone who works in a Particular query. Query kya hota dosto khan ya khadan ko query kete. To mason jo hota brick layer bhi hota raj mistri jo ghar banata hai. Or mason hi kaam khadano mein bhi karta hai jo purane jamane ke kaam hota te. Ab to machinho se hota hai. To queries mein jakar ke wohi patron ko rocks ko nikala karte te. To mason works in query is the logic. The same logic how you need to apply in the options. I'll do it for you. I'll do a role play. Mason works in query. Carpenter works in saw? No. Carpenter works with saw. Saw ke andar thodi jata hai. Saw ke saath kaam karta hai. Sword works with soldier? No. Soldier works with sword. To direction badal gaya? Ye bhi galat hai. Temple works in priest? No. Priest works in temple. Ye bhi direction galat hai. Ye bhi answer nahi ho sakta. Ringmaster works in circus? Yes. It could be the answer. Teacher works in chalk? No. Teacher works with chalk. So what is the answer? Answer is number four. You might have find there are two more answers which are right. That is second and third. But the direction is wrong. Person and the place where he works or the person or the tool with which he works so tool kya hai sword to sword right mein hoti to answer ho sakta tha ya temple right mein hota to answer ho sakta tha we go for the next variety example number 3 leather is to hide so right side is raw uh, finished product and left side is raw material leather in fact uh, just the reverse left side is uh, finished product and right side that is a raw material so i can say leather is made out of hide now, here you can see find a dissimilar pair. We have a direction in the direction of third question. We have a dissimilar pair. That yes, we have to find out the odd one out. Which is the right one, which is the wrong one, which is the wrong one. Cotton and cloth. Cloth comes from cotton. Yes, cloth can come from cotton. But cloth can come from silk also. Cloth can come from other fibers also. So, in logical reasoning, you have to remember that anything which follows 100% is always the answer. So, the first one. नहीं होगा. Metal is to ore. Metal comes from ore, but हमें wrong निकालना है. है ना similar नहीं निकाला था. First भी similar हो सकता है. Second तो similar है ही है. First में क्योंकि cotton के अलावा इसलिए मैंने हो सकता word use किया. Third is paper is to pulp. Paper comes from pulp. Again it is correct. तो ये तो तीनों similar हैं. Wood comes from furniture. No. Furniture comes from wood. So dissimilar या wrong options जो हैं, वो हमारा fourth option है, which is the answer. I hope you have understood. What was the answer you have, we have to find? We have to find the dissimilar pair. So, these three are similar. Okay, the first three are similar. And the fourth one is the only dissimilar. And even the direction is wrong. Woods do not come from furniture. Furniture is made up of wood. So, in any case, that is dissimilar. So, we have to pick it as an answer. Example number four. Odd one out analogy. We have odd one out. But we have dissimilar odd one out. We have similar odd one out. Meager is to plenitude. Meager means very less. And planet, plenitude means several or large. Weak is to strong. First one was antonym and the second one is also antonym. Impatience is to endurance. Again, it is antonym. Impatience ka matlab hota hai, uh, patience na hona or endurance ka matlab hota being patient. Ingenuous is to naivate. Ingenuous ka matlab hota someone who is very simple, fallible, gullible, innocent. Whereas naivate is also that. So again, it is synonym. Drab is to brilliant, brilliance. So, agar hum dekhe, so all of them are antonym, but only fourth one is synonym. First be antonym, hai, second be antonym, hai, third be and fifth be. First, second, third and fifth are all antonym to each other, which is similar. But what is the odd one out? The fourth is answer, which is both synonyms. Rest are all antonym. Weak, strong, meager, plenitude, blah, blah, blah. Now let us go and solve a 10 question test. 
यहां अब आपको आंसर नहीं है और मैं आंसर नहीं भी बता रहा हूं सो यू कैन ट्राई एंड थिंक अबाउट एन आंसर एंड आफ्टर कपल ऑफ सेकेंड फाइव टेन सेकेंड आई सॉल्व द फर्स्ट वन एंड देन गो ऑन फर्दर Think about your answer in your mind, and uh, one more thing over here, uh, we are offering a course of soft skills GDPI preparation in merely nine hundred ninety nine, and this particular course is offered with this particular video. You can look into the description, and you can make the payment and join our online course. In this, not only you will be trained for group discussion, personal interview, you will be trained for role play, case study, and all other types of group tasks, and all above that. you will be trained for wat that is writing aptitude test or writing ability test there are two ways it is explained writing ability or writing aptitude test and in addition every student will be given two video recording interview along with detailed feedback so in just the cost of two pizzas that is just 999 if you buy the larger one it would come even in that in just the cost of two pizza 999 all inclusive you will be getting this particular course which will be starting from first week of january and it will continue till at least 31st january and hand holding with continue till april 2024 till you land into a top b school it means our commitment with you in just merely 999 cost of two pizzas till april four months commitment and complete guidance unlimited guidance and above all the cherry on the cake is we will be giving you complete form filling guidance complete form filling information help you in writing your sops help you in finalizing your b schools and will let you know as per your performance in various b schools your performance in entrance examinations percentile and marks related matching we will do we will do complete mentor mentoring to your final selection process in just 999 you will never get this offer and this offer is only valid 7 more days from the launch of this video the moment the video is launched this particular facility will be available for 7 days and then the fee will increase to 1999 the there will be an increment of 1000 rupees for just 7 days it is 999 i repeat and after that it will be 1999 let's get back into the practice test first plants is to botany now if you look at it the study of plants is called botany तो पहला वाला तो ऐसे सॉल्व हो गया तो व्हाट विल बी द स्टडी ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स द स्टडी ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स इज एंटोमोलॉजी ऑप्शन नंबर 2 एपिडेमोलॉजी क्या होता है इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ स्प्रेड और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डिजीजेस एपिडेमिक से वर्ड बना एपिडेमोलॉजी व्हाट इज हेलमिंथोलॉजी इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ पैरासिटिक वॉर्म्स पैरासिटिक वॉर्म्स को हेलमिंथोलॉजी व्हाट इज कार्पोलॉजी स्टडी ऑफ सीड्स एंड फ्रूट्स बीज और फलों की स्टडी को कार्पोलॉजी पल्प इज टू पेपर pulp is the raw material and paper is derived out of pulp so hemp hemp is derived out of so uh, paper comes from pulp and rope is made up of hemp hemp kya hota hai ek uh, ek grass hoti hai basically which is uh, moistened and then it is turned and twisted like this and rope was made even if agar aap pichhde ilakon mein india mein aaj bhi gaon mein jayenge to aapko bahut sare buzurg hemp se rope banate hue mil jayenge and it is very common Uh, process of making robes not even even in india it is a very common practice even developed countries like us okay so hemp creates robes horse the third one is related to animal and the sound they make horses knees unki jo awaz hoti hai hinanane ki usko english mein knee bolte hain and hyena jo awaz karta hai usko laugh bolte hain hyena yani lakad bagga uski awaz ko laugh kehte hain brew is to bear the bear is brewed जो बियर होती है अल्कोहलिक ड्रिंक उसको ब्रू किया जाता है सिमिलरली डिस्टिलेशन की अगर हम बात करें तो ऑयल इज डिस्टिल्ड हम और किसी चीज को डिस्टिल नहीं करते ऑयल को विच इज द आंसर नीडल इज टू निट नीडल इज यूज फॉर निटिंग किसी भी तरह की सिलाई के लिए नीडल यूज करती है लूम लूम किसके लिए यूज करती है लूम इज मेड फॉर वॉट वीविंग ये सुइंग के लिए नहीं होती थिम्बल के लिए भी नहीं होती सू क्या होता है सीलना या रिपेयर करना थिम्बल करने का होता है मेटल कैप होती है उसको थिम्बलिंग बोलते हैं स्टिचिंग करना सीना होता है और डार्निंग करना रफू करना होता है तो इसलिए इस आंसर जो होगा वी होगा कोहरेंट इज टू कंसिस्टेंट इज समथिंग इज कोहरेंट इट मीन इट इज कंसिस्टेंट आसानी से जो हमें समझ में आती है उसको हम कहते हैं कोहरेंट और कंसिस्टेंट सो बोथ आर सिनोनिम्स तो हमें आयरेट का सिनोनिम देखना है तो सिनोनिम ऑफ आयरेट इज इरिटेटेड तो आंसर इज विल बी सेकेंड रेज का मतलब होता है गुस्सा अनरिजनेबल आप जानते हैं कैंटेंक्रस का मतलब होता है समवन हु इज शॉर्ट इन इमोशन कैंटेंक्रस मीन अनएक्सपेक्टेड इमोशन शोर यूजली यूज फॉर फेमिनाइन इट्स अ फेमिनाइन एडजेक्टिव कैंटर कैंटेंक्रस 
so cantankerous is a feminine adjective any word ending with o u s r o u s e o u s ye sare hamesha adjective hai take a street smart method any words which end with e o u s o u s or u o u s will always be adjective so cantankerous means unpredictable emotions hostile aap jante hain gusse wala ladaka so seventh answer elephant is to calf a parent and the young one so fish ka kya hoga ro ro machli ke ande ko kehte hain so answer will be the fourth one ro now let us get into the last three questions very quickly friends and it is a very good uh, practice you have done with me misogynist misogynist is a person gyni kisi bhi word mein rehta hai any word which has a word gyni or gynecology it is always related to women and women related misogyny miso ka matlab hota dislike hate and gyni ka matlab women hatred towards women is called misogynist and hatred towards human is called misanthrope so question number 9 and 10 let us look into them saturn is to planet so saturn is a type of planet similarly we have to find out the relationship saturn is a type of planet star is a type of sun no fig is type of apple no fig anjir alag hoti hai apple alag hota moon is a type of satellite yes so answer becomes third europe is a type of asia nahi comet is a type of meteor nahi comet alag hai uchhal tara jise kehte hain aur meteor wo hote hain part of the heavenly body which enters the earth's environment aur jo jal jati hai usko meteors kehte hain meteorites ek aur hota hai meteor and meteorites aap jante hain okay jo niche tak pahunch jata hai wo fir meteorite murder is to crow now murder is always used for presence of crow jab bhi koi bhi lash padi rehti hai janwar ki ya kisi bhi living being ki to hamesha wahan pe crow ya cheel aa jati hai na to murder is to crow always used the same relationship we have to apply over here tears is to corn tears ka corn se koi relationship nahi hai swarm is to bird बर्ड के लिए यूज नहीं होता स्वाम स्वाम बीज के लिए यूज होता है हनी बीज के लिए यूज होता है तो इस सेकंड भी नहीं हो सकता फर्स्ट भी नहीं है गर्ल्स इज टू गैंग गर्ल्स के साथ में गैंग ऑफ गर्ल्स बहुत जगह लिखा रहता है बट इट इज एब्सोलूटली रॉन्ग एंड इवन पीपल प्रोनाउंस इट लाइक दैट गर्ल्स ऑफ गैंग गैंग ऑफ गर्ल्स भी कह लेते हैं तो गलत है इट इज ऑलवेज कॉन्वाय या कोवी इनफैक्ट कोटरी ऑफ गर्ल्स कोवी ऑफ गर्ल्स एंड अनदर वेरी सिंपल टू रिमेम्बर इज बेवी ऑफ गर्ल्स बीई वी वाई बेवी ऑफ गर्ल्स कोवी ऑफ गर्ल्स and coterie of girls c o t e r i e these are the three words used for group of girls so third bhi nahi hai kyunki wo similar match nahi kar raha murder or crow ko match nahi kar raha flock is to sheep flock is to sheep jab hum baat karte flock is to sheep to flock is to sheep hota hai herd bhi kehte hain group of sheep ko fold bhi kehte hain group of sheep ko fold bhi kaha jata hai to probability is fourth let us check out the fifth one whether and then we confirm pie is to blackbird blackbird के ग्रुप को हमेशा फ्लाइट कहा जाता है या फ्लॉक कहा जाता है या कॉलोनी ऑफ ब्लैक बर्ड्स कहा जाता है पाई नहीं कहा जाता पाई इज अ रॉन्ग वर्ड पाई इज ऑलवेज यूज फॉर अ पार्ट जैसे पाई ऑफ केक होता है तो पाई इज टू ब्लैक बर्ड नहीं होगा फ्लाइट फ्लॉक या कॉलोनी ऑफ बर्ड्स हम बोल सकते हैं तो आंसर विल बी फोर्थ विच इज फ्लॉक ऑफ शीप और हर्ड ऑफ शीप या फोल्ड ऑफ शीप ये सब बोल सकते थे बिकॉज वी गॉट वन ऑफ द करेक्ट आंसर दैट इज फ्लॉक सो इट इज आंसर एज लॉक आंसर सो आंसर इज I hope you enjoyed and you didn't found it uh, too fast and if you found it is little faster for you to listen to and practice along koi dikkat nahi you can rewind and look back uh, look back at the question and the answer my objective was not to make particular video very long so that you can learn along with me and solve the question and enjoy we want you to like our video if you find it is giving you benefit subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends if you believe that they would also be benefited thank you very much See you bye bye take care